All right, I am back. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that I had dozens of, of packages from uh, eBay and Facebook, mostly junk wax era. I counted them, it's 13. So is that dozens? No, but it is more than a dozen. So I'm gonna go through these. I will actually cut out the parts of me actually opening the packages because that's always boring to watch. But uh, here we go. So what I'm, what I'm doing is piecing together a massive collection of Hall of Fame rookies, baseball, basketball, uh, and superstar rookies, guys that maybe I loved growing up or who should have gone to the Hall of Fame or who were just amazing but not for long enough. Guys like Bo Jackson, not long enough. Um, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, who should have gone to the Hall of Fame but won't. So let's go through these. Some of these I don't even remember buying, which is weird, but. My lighting isn't very good here. This is an Iverson. Oh yeah, I bought this in a lot on Facebook. Let me see if I can fix my lighting. Is that any better? So uh, this is an Iverson. What year is this? This is... Uh, 97, so, uh, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> I completely forgot that I bought this one. It came in a lot, and this is his legit rookie that I couldn't turn down, it was so cheap. And there's the Jordan Fleer 90, not in great shape. That corner's pretty bent. I don't know why this isn't in a top, top loader, but obviously I'm gonna put it in one. Uh, Yao Ming, I think this is another rookie. Paul Pierce, I almost bought this at the card show today because I forgot I got this. I think I won this in an auction on Facebook for really cheap. And there's Kevin Garnett, rookie. This is Alton Lister. Um, never heard of Alton Lister, but it's an 86 Fleer. It's my only 86 Fleer now and Lafayette Lever. These were just thrown into this auction for some reason. So, pretty killer. Thank you to the seller. And here is the um, David Robinson rookie from the second series of 89 hoops where he's shooting the free throw. Nice and clean. Look at the centering on that baby. Here's a Kobe. NBA Hoops, this is 97, so immediately my earliest Kobe, because I really, I don't have any, I have a, like a 2004 from when I very briefly collected. Why is this not in a top loader? I don't know. And then this is another Kobe, this is uh, 99 Kobe, these are Edge Impulse, which are worthless, but that's okay. Actually, there's, yeah, that's the checklist with Kobe on it. Jason Williams, I loved Jason Williams as a kid. I think that's his rookie card it is. Kobe Edge Impulse, another checklist. Vince Carter, yes. Also Vince Carter's rookie card. How did I get this for such an amazing price? I don't know, lucky. This is a 99 Kobe, the Jordan 91 Fleer, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, everybody hates this design. I like it and I wonder if it's just because of nostalgia because this is one of my childhood sets. Here's the member's choice Jordan upper deck, uh, I mean, stadium club, love that card. And the 90 Skybox, inaugural edition of Skybox Jordan. I collect a PC Jordan, so these are great to have. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm flabbergasted by <laughs> a couple things. The price that I paid for these, maybe they're not worth that much money because they're, they're A, not rookies, but, uh, but also because some of these aren't in top loaders. But then Alan Levell is in a top loader, and Al Wood, Mike Woodson, Orlando Woolridge. Now there's a Tim Duncan rookie. 
pretty sweet lot. And here's some more. This is from the same package. All right, empty top loader. They should have put one of those cards in the top loader. All right, Nolan Ryan, this is a 70, this is 1980 Nolan Ryan. It's in really nice shape. Uh, Ozzy Smith, 1980, that's his second year, I think, right? He's rookie of 79. 1970, Bob Gibson, Steve Carlton, Juan Marichal. That is a, that is a nice looking card. Tom Glavin, rookie. So you go from 1981 to 80 to, to 70, and then you've got a junk wax Tom Glavin, rookie, which is, I love, I love this stuff. Thurman Munson, what is this, 77, 78? This is 79, Thurman Munson. Robbie Alomar, rated rookie, 88 Donruss, one of my childhood cards. Paul La Palma. This is, uh, it looks like it, it's a die cut, but I think it's just because the corners are awful. But it is a, what, what year is this? Uh, 1953, maybe? Wow. Wow. Tom Glavin, rookie. Gene Hermansky, uh, I think also 53. And Jim Pendleton, 1953. Dixie Walker, 1953. Oh, there's another one here. Harry Bird. Are these like modern day die cuts? Are the corners kind of cut rounded? All right, here's Barry Bonds, 87 Donruss in amazing shape. Oh, and I forgot I got this. Look at that. Uh, and this one's not in very good shape either, and it's not well-centered. I love Barry Bonds. He was the greatest player of my lifetime until Mike Trout came along. Uh, and he's probably better than Trout, but only because of steroids. So we have an A-Rod upper deck. This is from 95. And here's another A-Rod, and there's another 87 Bonds. This is 93 Upper Deck Classic A-Rod. Uh, that's a pretty sick lot of cards for a very low price. More empty top loaders. Why are these cards not in top loaders? <laughs> All right, and now my they're stuck they're stuck on the team bag all right see Bane's rookie I already had this one but it was in this lot so Happy to have it. This might even be in better shape than the one I have that I'm sending off to get graded. Then we have a Phil Necro Nolan Ryan 1978 tops. Not bad. Nolan Ryan, what is this? Early 80s? This is uh, 81. When he played for the Astros. Pretty good shape. Tom Seaver. Why is this not even in a sleeve? I don't know. Jordan SP1. This is now my third I've received in the last couple of months. Crisp. Very, very crisp. Man, I've got a lot of cards ready to send off to CSG. What is this? This is obviously an A-Rod card. CSA... Certified eight. I've never even heard of CSA. What year is this? This is a 94 Fleer. Alex Rodriguez, CSA certified eight near mint. An afterthought in this lot auction that I that I bought. 
unbelievable. All right, let's move to this envelope. What did I get here? Ah, Kevin Euclid. I'm I'm collecting uh, all of this the Red Sox guys from the, the my favorite Red Sox from the '90s up until 2004, 2005 or so, when I s slowed down my fandom. Uh, loved Kevin Euclid, the Greek god of walks. This is his rookie card. Paid a couple bucks on eBay for it. And I'm going to grade uh, almost. I'm, I want to have a Red Sox collection of graded cards. And I'm using CSG just because you can do bulk for 12 bucks a card. Um, if PSA ever gets back down to whatever they were before, I, I know at one point they were like $8 a card. Maybe I go back to them. But I also think that CSG is tougher on grades. What is this card? Oh, yeah. This is a Trot Nixon, another Red Sox favorite. Dirt Dog. This is his 94 upper deck, I think. 95 upper deck. Another favorite. Ah. Ken Griffey Jr., rookie, Sports Illustrated for kids. Had to have it. It's sharp. I had all these Sports Illustrated for kids as a kid and recycled them all. Gone. I thought. It didn't even occur to me that these cards could be valuable or collectible someday. I was young. Thrilled to have it now. Oh, yes. Robbie Alomar, rookie, PSA 10. Not too shabby. Saw 89. Hall of Famer, obviously disgraced now. Uh, he's still in the Hall of Fame, but his spot on the Hall of Fame committee or something was stripped of him because of the, the accusations against him. Oh, yes. Andre Agassi, net pro rookie. Really nice shape. And flip it over, there's Pete Sampras. This is two cards I, I got for four, four bucks, five bucks on eBay. Of my two favorites when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. These are their rookie cards. Worth a lot of money in high grades. There's Johnny Damon, another Red Sox idiot. Hate him, but he was a favorite uh, when he was on the Red Sox 2004. So I'll add that to my collection, get it graded. Nice rookie card there. I think these are more packs that I won in a really cheap auction. And the guy who sold these just does an amazing job with the packaging and communication. These are Collector's Choice Basketball German, 95-96. Add this to my pile to be opened, which I will be opening these on camera for the channel. So keep an eye out for that. Click subscribe, like the video. I would really appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Manny Ramirez, Manny being Manny, PSA 9, adding that to my collection, already graded in 9. I mean, it was like uh, 10 bucks, I think, for PSA 9. So why buy the single and send it off to get graded at 30 bucks or whatever, when you can buy it already graded in 9 for one-third the price? Whew. I feel like a kid again. Ah, yes, I know what this is. You saw 
on my last video, if you watched, I got the 88 Fleer Jordan and Pippin, and now I have the Stockton. Got this in an auction on eBay, and I was the only bidder. So, uh, didn't pay very much at all. I'll take this off later, but... Other than centering up to, up to uh, top to bottom, whew, that is crisp. Very nice. All right, what do we have here? This is, oh, Ken Griffey Jr., The Rookies, 89 Donruss, rated by CSG, given a nine. Again, if I can get the card rated a nine for one-third the price, I'm going to do it. As much as I love pulling pulling wax. I, I, as a kid, I don't think I was aware of this, the Rookies series, because I didn't have any of them. You may have seen my last video, I think it was, yeah, the Greg Maddox, the Rookies that I that I got at the card show in Maine. This is a great card, I love Griffey, you've got hundreds of his cards. Uh, I'll, I'll do a CSG versus PSA comparison sometime soon because I'll, I'm, I'm really interested to compare the two. And Tim Wakefield completing, well, not completing yet, but Tim Wakefield, 92 Fleer update, PSA 8. Hmm. I thought I was buying a 9. I'm going to have to go back and look at that because I... I'm only looking for nines, so I'm a little, or tens, of course. All right, last box. So this last one is fun. I've already opened it because I knew it would take a while, this guy. I'm in a, a Facebook group of like-minded people who love Junk Wax era cards, and he was selling a box of 86 Fleer, and I started collecting 86, but I didn't have any Fleer whatsoever. Uh, so I was really interested in, in this and ripping this, and you'll see me rip this box on a future video. Uh, and then uh, in, the, in the process of going to pay him, he asked me who I collected from the 80s, and I told him who I would love to have, and he had hundreds of these rookie cards from guys that I wanted, and so he painstakingly took photos of all of his cards and sent them to me and told me, pick the ones that you want. And he gave me incredibly fair prices on these. So let's let's see how we did. Super nice guy, very accommodating. All right, so. We have a Cal Ripken 89 Donruss. I don't remember talking about that one, but here's the 82 Donruss Ripken, his rookie. Whew. That is beautiful. Centering a little off up to down, but that's okay. The rest of it is immaculate. Here's another 82, right? This is, yep, 82 Fleer Cal Ripken. Again, centering a little off, but crisp. Tim Raines, rookie, 81, Donruss. Whew. Great, great cards. Another Tim Raines rookie. Uh, actually, I think this was his second year card, right? And this is the first year, this is 1980. Nope, they're both 81. Oh yeah, and he sent me two of the 81 Fleer, uh, 81 Donruss. And this is the Reigns Tops rookie. Here's Cal Ripken, 89 Donruss. And then we get to the Bogs. Two Bogs rookies, Fleer and Tops, 83. These look immaculate. So, thank you to that gentleman named Chad. I really appreciate the uh, awesome work that he did on, on getting me, not only getting me the cards, but 
making sure I, I was able to pick from the best and gave me an awesome price on them. So um, that's it. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel because I've got, obviously, as you can see here, a ton of cards to open. I've got more videos, more, more cards to, to go through. I buy a lot, I buy more than I should, but I find amazing deals that I just can't say no to. Okay. Thank you.